And, and it's real interesting because I see a lot of information like that out on the internet where um, the advice is to just turn the guy that you're with into the right guy. You know, don't, don't go out and screen anybody. Make sure, you know, make him into fit the mold of who you want to be. Um, so, uh, so why do you think it's so important to, to screen out men? What, uh, what, what would this uh, help women do? <laughs> well, you know, Matt, really, I'm a simpleton. I like to break things down into its simplest, easiest components. And to me, it really comes down to, do you want to be happy? You know, do you want a relationship that is easy, that you don't have to turn somebody to make him into who you, you want him to be, but who is naturally that person that you're looking for from the get-go? And so I believe that there's one person on this earth, at least one person, that can naturally give you what it is you're looking for. And, you know, you and I have spoken before, and that it really is this fear that I'm never going to find what I really want, so I'm going to have to take this guy, this square peg, and make him fit in the round hole. Where, and that's why, you know, the majority of people struggle in their relationships, because they don't believe there's that one guy out there, or, you know, they want the guy that's really hot, that makes them feel special in the bedroom, but who makes them <laughs> makes them miserable outside. So it's really about getting clear and focusing on finding that one guy. And I believe, and I've learned, is that when you operate from that place and you're not afraid and you're willing to give up the good to go for the great, that the universe kind of takes care of the detail and that guy will show up however he's meant to show up in your life. Yeah, so one of the big concerns that I get from a lot of women is that is that they really don't think that there's there's a great guy out there for them, and and that every man that they meet is a commitment phobe, or or that uh, every you know when he when he says something to her like he he wants to be with her and gets really excited and and you know talks about marriage and then all of a sudden he disappears on her. Um, it, are men really all commitment phobes? Well, first of all, what I, we need to do is we need to differentiate because I believe that there's a difference between men and boys. So the way I explain that is boys are the ones, like I have three boys, you know, they're 11, 9, and 7. And, you know, they want what they want, what they want, when they want it. That's kind of what boys do. And ultimately there's a maturation process and it's my job as their father to teach them that's not how it works, that your choices and decisions ultimately affect other people. So there are some guys who never get the message and they live the rest of their life that way. You know, it's all about what they want on their terms. And a lot of these guys, quite simply, you know, you're a guy, are just looking to get laid. And so those are the kind of guys, they could be amazing. The chemistry can be awesome. They can be great lovers, not the best relationship partners. So you got to realize, if you want to have some fun, go ahead and knock yourself out. But if you think you're going to turn one of those guys into a relationship material, you're wasting your time. And I know a lot of people listen to this and, yeah, I've been there, done that. So you got to start off with that and then differentiate that they are also men. Who got, those are the guys who are emotionally available, who are responsible, who are unselfish, who know how to be good relationship partners, and who are willing to do so. So you've got to be able to quite quickly be able to differentiate. Look, and at this stage of the game, every woman should know that a guy is going to, some guys, the boys, are going to tell you what you want to hear. And they might even think that they're relationship material, but ultimately their actions are going to show you that they're not. So the beauty of life in screening, you just have to sit back and allow them to show you. One of the biggest mistakes women make is they jump into relationships and they get involved with these guys who say and do all the right things in the beginning and then as you say they disappear and the women are like you know what the hell he said all the right things in the beginning yes just because he said it doesn't mean he's gonna live up to it 